When hurricanes and post-tropical storms hit the city of Halifax, the damage on land is evident in the downed trees and power lines. What's happening underneath the Halifax Harbour in the aftermath of storms has been a focus of Natural Resources Canada scientists for decades, and they've released a new series of maps that uncovered many interesting features that were previously unknown. It could go closer, it could go higher. Alexandre Normando says using autonomous underwater vehicles like this one has been a game changer. It has sophisticated sonar technology to take more accurate images of the ocean floor. We can see anchor drag shipwrecks at much higher resolution than we could before because it's so much closer to the bottom. From the ship, you can see every one to two meters of the seabed, but this instrument gives a clearer picture of every 30 centimeters. Here we're looking at the uh, relief model of the bottom of the harbor. So where it's dark blue, it's deep, and where it's whitish, it's shallow. While studying cores of the harbor seabed, Gordon Fader says he saw a lot of contaminants that were in the sediments, all due to a lack of a sewage treatment plant for 200 years in Halifax. He says when storms erode the seafloor, it remobilizes those contaminated sediments and moves them somewhere else in the harbor. There's a tiny little shipwreck here that you can see that actually was exposed during the Hurricane 1 as it eroded the seafloor. But it's not only storms. The maps detail how ships with big anchors dragging along the seafloor can remobilize the contaminants, which could be any number of things, including mercury or metals left there from wartime. We can see those anchor drags there in much higher definition. For Normando, the AUVs are especially helpful for understanding the seafloor that's even further offshore. There's a lot of underwater landslides that can produce uh, tsunamis like we had in 1929, but to understand the recurrence of these events, we need to really map the seabed and we need to map it at high resolution so we can understand the, the mechanics of the landslides. He says mapping geohazards at high resolution is important in determining things like best locations for offshore renewables like wind farms.